Congratulations on the purchase of your new Tenant S5 Floor Sweeper. With proper use and care, your machine's highly efficient cleaning systems will perform well for many years to come. This operator training video will help you better understand how to prepare your machine for use, sweep your floors, and care for your machine so you get the longest life and best performance from your floor sweeper. Safety. It is the operator's responsibility to operate the machine safely. The safety labels that appear on the machine indicate important information you need to be aware of when operating the machine. The operator should read and fully understand the operator's manual before operating the machine. How the sweeping systems work. When pushing the sweeper forward with the side brush lowered, debris is moved into the path of the main brushes. The main brushes throw debris into the hopper to effectively clean your dirty floors. Your machine is equipped with a vacuum fan and filter system. As the machine is sweeping, the vacuum fan draws dust-laden air through the dust filter and clean air is exhausted from the machine. Controls and instrumentation. Your machine is equipped with a battery that powers the brushes and vacuum fan. The power button turns the machine power on and off. Press the button once to turn on the power and again to turn it off. There are three buttons that allow the operator to choose the correct brush and vacuum fan settings for your conditions. From left to right, the first button turns on the main brushes, the side brush and the vacuum fan. The second button turns on only the main brushes and the side brush. The third button turns on only the main brushes and the vacuum fan. To the right of these buttons is the hour meter and battery charge display. The battery charge indicator reflects the amount of charge remaining in the battery. As the battery discharges, the battery indicator bars will turn off from right to left. A lever on the front of the control panel allows you to lower and raise the side brush. Move the lever down and to the right to lower the side brush and move the lever to the left and up to raise the side brush. When the machine is pushed forward, the brushes remove debris from the floor and throw it into the hopper. Before operating the machine. Prior to operating the machine, there are checks that need to be completed to make sure your machine is ready to clean. Move the dust filter cleaning handle back and forth a few times to clean the filter. Next, lift the hopper locking lever and then remove and empty the hopper. The lever on the left side of the control handle allows you to adjust the handle to a comfortable operating position. It also allows you to place it upright when you need to work on the underside of the machine. To release the handle lock, pull outward on the lever. Position the handle nearly straight up. To lock the handle in that position, push inward on the lever. Pull on the handle to tip the machine backward and check the brushes and skirts for wear and damage. Remove any wire, string, or twine that may have become wrapped around the brushes. Lower the machine onto its wheels. Adjust the rear main brush if required. Note: Adjusting the rear main brush is explained later in this video. Next, slide the hopper into the machine and the locking pin will automatically engage. Check maintenance records to determine maintenance requirements. Cleaning with your machine. Before cleaning with your machine, manually pick up oversized debris, wire, string, twine, or any other debris that could become wrapped around or tangled in the brushes. Next, adjust the control handle to a comfortable working position and press the power button. Confirm the battery is charged and choose one of three sweeping options. Sweeping with the main brushes, the side brush, and the vacuum fan on. Sweeping with only the main brushes and the side brush on. Or sweeping with only the main brushes and the vacuum fan on. If the side brush is being used, lower it by moving the lever downward and to the right. When the machine is pushed forward, it will remove debris from the floor and throw it into the hopper. Emptying and cleaning the machine. When your cleaning is finished, the machine needs to be emptied and cleaned. For safety, before leaving or servicing the machine, stop on a level surface. If the side brush was used, raise it by moving the brush lever to the left and upward. Next, turn off the power by pressing the power button. To clean the filter, move the filter cleaning lever back and forth a few times. 
Then, remove and empty the hopper by lifting the hopper locking pin and sliding the hopper backwards from the machine. Empty the hopper into a suitable container. Note, the sweeper should never be parked with a full hopper. While the hopper is out of the machine, you can inspect the dust filter. If the filter needs to be removed for cleaning or replacement, loosen the two filter retaining knobs on the rear corners of the filter assembly. Once the filter retaining knobs are loosened, you can lower the filter assembly and remove the filter from the filter retainer. Note, there is a decal on the filter showing the direction of airflow. The correct airflow direction is from the hopper, through the filter, and into the vacuum fan. It is important that you install the filter into the machine correctly with the arrow pointing up. After cleaning or replacing the filter, reverse the disassembly steps to install the dust filter assembly and secure it. Then reinstall the hopper. Adjusting the rear main brush. The front main brush doesn't normally touch the floor, so unless it is damaged, it will not need to be replaced as often as the rear main brush. To adjust the rear main brush, first press the power switch to turn off the machine. The adjustment system for the rear main brush is under the battery compartment cover. The cover is held closed by a bolt under the machine behind the front caster wheel. After the bolt is removed, open the cover and rest it on the handle assembly. The rear main brush adjustment mechanism is on the right hand side of the battery compartment. To adjust it, loosen the lower thumb nut and turn the upper thumb nut either clockwise to lower the rear main brush or counterclockwise to raise the brush. The front brush is stationary with a setting even with the floor. The rear brush should be adjusted to have approximately one half inch of bristles in contact with the floor. Note, when a new rear brush is installed, the brush pressure adjustment mechanism should be set to the sixth or seventh brush adjustment notch from the top. Once adjusted, lower the thumb nut and tighten it to lock the adjustment mechanism in place. Then lower the cover and reinstall the cover retaining bolt. Replacing the main brushes. To remove and replace a main brush, first press the power switch to turn off the machine, if it is powered on. The main brushes consist of two split shells with brush bristles. Six screws join the split shells together. To dismantle a main brush, first remove the hopper. Use the handle to tip the machine on its back. Rotate a brush until three of the threaded screws on the brush become visible and loosen or remove the screws. Rotate the brush until the other three screws are visible and loosen or remove them. Remove the brush split shells from the shaft and, if required, clean the bearings and shaft. Install two new brush split shells, aligning the square recesses of the brush with the square shaft and secure them with the six screws. Tighten the screws until there is no longer a gap between the brush split shells. Repeat the previous steps if replacement of the other main brush is required. Note, when a new rear brush is installed, the brush pressure adjustment mechanism should be set to the 6th or 7th brush adjustment notch from the top and secured with the lower thumb nut. Side brush information. The side brush provides a wider sweeping path and allows you to clean next to walls and racks. To change the side brush, first stop the machine, press the power switch to turn off the power to the machine and raise the side brush. To remove the side brush, first use the handle to tip the machine on its back. Then unscrew the thumb screw in the center of the side brush and pull the brush downward. To install the side brush, rotate the brush to align it with the positioning pins on the brush drive hub. Install and secure the thumb screw removed earlier. Charging the battery. 
To prolong the life of the battery, recharge it only if the machine was used for a total of 30 minutes or more. Do not leave the battery discharged for lengthy periods. To charge the battery, first park the machine on a flat, dry surface. If the machine is powered on, press the power switch to turn it off. The next step is to plug the charger's AC power cord into a properly grounded receptacle. The supplied charger will automatically begin charging and shut off when the battery is fully charged. When the battery is discharged, the red charger indicator light will be on. As the battery charges, the yellow light will turn on. The green light will turn on when the battery is fully charged. Performing the daily operational checks, making needed adjustments, and following the proper operating procedures for your tenant floor sweeper will ensure that it will perform in top condition throughout its useful lifetime. You will find it cleans better, has fewer maintenance issues, and effectively enhances the environment.